Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But man, the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together eat together I know we could do a lot of things together all right well good luck in your match I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs specifically Mandy Rose if our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream there's gonna be fireworks when we meet uh, not literally like pyro or anything I mean like the romantic kind yeah I get it chase Good luck with all that.
I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. I've always wanted to compete on Monday nights, so I accept your offer. That's it? You're not even going to ask about your pay? I already did my negotiating in the ring. Fair enough. We'll send you the paperwork. Don't make me regret this. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing on Raw, but without the lame attitude and nickname. Wait, you got signed to Raw? Yeah. Uh, did you not see me beat one of their top superstars? No, I did. I just thought they would recognize it was a total fluke like I did. But I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. I'm really gonna miss you. Hey, I heard you're going to Raw. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. 
But maybe we'll cross paths again sometime in the future. Never say never around here. That's right. Buena suerte. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Did you really think you'd get signed? Wake up, man. You've been the weakling since we started here, and your unrealistic outlook only makes things worse. You really think that? Look, I'm not saying you're dead in the water, but consider today a reality check. Three of us were signed, and you weren't. If you're ever going to make it, something needs to change, and that's on you. Maybe it's not me. Maybe someone's trying to hold me back. Or maybe they just didn't like my look. I can change that easy. I do still have that rib costume. Chase, look in the mirror. It's none of that other stuff. It's you. I gotta go clean out my locker. See you around. Congrats on getting signed to Raw. Think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. addition to Monday nights. GM Mandy Rose and the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the red brand. Then we'll talk. I've been watching a lot of old Andre the Giant matches recently. <laughs> Nothing like a big man doing big man things. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like to face him in his prime?
This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, uh, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. I'm getting uh, word we have a situation backstage, and it, it looks like now we have a brawl on our hand. Uh, from way up, uh, diving double axe handle. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Yeah. Calf kick right on point. Yeah. He's able to fend off the attack. Saw that coming from Cedric. Oh, God. Ooh. Boom. Oh, man. Ooh. And Cedric expected that. Oh. Ooh. Staved off that attack. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. Oh, looks like we're gonna see it. Selena Del Sol. Cedric is in a very vulnerable position here. Has Cedric in his grip. Oh, not everyone can do that. And he barely evades. Oh! An agile escape. Oh, back elbow. Oh, man. And Tagiri finds its mark. Ooh, well measured. Oh, Swanton. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. That hurt. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Back Cedric's attack. Ducks through. Up and over. Knock out.
They are ready for battle. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 483 pounds. Young Blood and Murphy. We're seeing an athlete who is a top. The aid. After a heated backstage brawl, kickstarted their issue. Cedric Alexander and the budding disciple who attacked him will take their fight to center stage on Raw. And they'll be joined by Murphy and Ricochet to make it an official tag team match. Let's see if Murphy's partner can help him win this match and impress the Monday Night Messiah. Really just laying it in. Ooh, harsh kick. Boom on the jaw. Cedric expected that. Face first. Cover! And he manages to kick out at one. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Hurricane Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Here he comes off the tag. Ooh, line delivered. He's going for it all. And the top. No way I can take the whole complexion of this match. Kick right on point. This offense causing Ricochet to wind down. Ricochet has to find energy fast. Running Hurt Colorado. Beautiful. Shifts it back onto him. Firm control. Switching it up. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oh, man. Into right to the cut. Well placed kick. Big two. Perfect drop kick. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Taking flight. Diving body splash. <laughs> Spin kick to the midsection. He got whipped into that corner. Tagged in. <laughs> Murphy answers back. Perfectly executed mortar life suplex, and there's no, no way. What a combination, the brain buster. Skillful reversal stops Ricochet. Goodness.
This agility. Oh my God. Murphy holds him up. He's kept Ricochet down. Kick to the gut by Murphy. Holds a solo. Nothing's wrong. Nothing Ricochet can do now. There's two. He still has some gas left in the tank. Nice head up kick. Great elevation. Stomping down. Ricochet is a moving target. Here we go. No. Fake me out again. Watch this athleticism. Oh, well. Watch this athleticism. Decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. He has to be at his limit now. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Cedric needs to find that willpower he's known for. And Ricochet adapts. Able to get out of the way. Suplex, but that's not all. Oh, and a ripcord lariat, what a combination! Here we go with Austin Theory and Mustafa Ali and their newest recruit taking on Cedric Alexander in one of the most lopsided handicap matches we've seen in some time. You have to ask yourself, what will Seth Rollins' disciples stoop to next? Whatever it takes to win, Saxton. Sharp. 
making that shoulder a priority. Delivers the knee drop. And he saw that coming from Cedric. the mark. Ah, oh, jeez. Kick right to the back of the leg. Oh, the way to the floor. Here we go. No. Fake me out again. And Cedric expected that. And misses on the springboard. Oh, man, referee hit hard here. We have a European uppercut. Taking this match off the mat now. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Perched on top. Crash landed. Counter after counter. Oh, that one coming. German suplex. But that's not all. Oh, and a ripcord lariat. What a combination.
Here he comes. Here we go as Montez Ford takes on a superstar who earlier today allegedly got into it with Kane backstage. It takes a lot of gall to lay out Mayor Kane, especially when you're in his neck of the woods. But that's the kind of confidence this superstar brings to every city he goes. Confidence? More like a death wish. Mm. From the top, getting out of the ring. Smart decision here. Shake off the cobwebs away from your opponent. Get him into the corner. Uh oh. Face first. With the reversal. Back 
back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Ooh, bullseye and a bullseye. Oh, foot just stomping down. Return fire from Montez Ford. He returns to the ring. Oh! This is what you call from the heavens. Big time splash. And into the count. He's able to kick out before two. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Wow, that won't separate you. What the heck? Are you kidding me? No way. High knee right between the shoulders. Oh, my lord. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Montez Ford, so elusive. Half kick right on point. We are about... Last week, Raw ventured south to Knox County. When one superstar traveled further than any other, into the flaming in front known as Kane's Hell. And now the demon is here for revenge. The Big Red Machine may have just come alive, but Kane's choke slam last week may have woken something in his opponent, too. I'm just saying. Taking a trip outside, he's got to be mindful of the count. Right across the larynx. And he's able to fight Kane off. He's back into the ring. Bam! Down he goes. 
Oh, it is a grit. Will this be enough? Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. He takes control. Quick strike to the lower body. Back out. Did you see that? He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Oh, man. Trouble up on the top rope. What an arm drag. His shoulders are down. One, two, no. Three. Two count for Kane. Just barely, but it counts. He knew what was coming there. Great reversal. Kane turns it around. Escape crowd. Nice. Half kick right on point. Producing a trampoline. Good timing with that reversal. Take her out on social media. Now he has to answer him face to face. Let's see how tough he is now. Undertaker's not going away. And there he goes. He wants nothing to do with the dead man. He just took down Kane. I think he's had enough of the Brothers of Destruction for one night. <laughs> 